Hey guys, welcome back to Clogmonger Gaming, another B Pro game coming your way, and we're heading into Edmonton to take on the Oilers. Uh, me and the Oilers always have tough battles, so hopefully I can come on top. I'm going to hit Taylor Hall a lot, hopefully hurt him, and score some goals. That is my plan. So, meanwhile, this game's loading up here, getting ready to go. How about you guys down in the comments? Let me know what position you want me to play in NHL 16 for my Be a Pro. I'm going to start off on the Oil Kings, I'm pretty sure, just because they're local to me. So, yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what uh, position you want me to play. I played defenseman in real life, so, well, defenseman and, and forward, but mainly defense. So, make sure to leave that comment down below. Hit pop those thumbs up, and let's get this game going. Look at all that snow. Outside the downtown area of Edmonton, outside is a statue of the great Wayne Gretzky. Inside another game of the Edmonton Oilers. Hi everybody, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich right before game time here. It's an interesting sport in that sometimes your best players only wind up playing a third of the time, but boy do they ever make a contribution. And that's why the other two thirds, Doc, have to be important. I'm gonna crunch Taylor Hall, hopefully for a shift. Set the tone. Guys that get the meat of the minutes, the most important minutes, in order to allow you to win hockey games. That guy right there. Probably going to be one of those players on the ice in those high pressure situations. He's going to make him my bitch. Expect to see him in those crucial minutes. Okay, so let's look at the Victor Foss. Foss in the goal. Pretty solid save percentage. We can expect more of that tonight for the Oilers. Hopefully he doesn't light me up. Ooh. Rhyme better have another good game. Alright, here we go. Really played well, Doc, in the early part of the season. Their winning record is a result of excellent depth from their first to their fourth line. Edmonton, Alberta. Hockey is being played as of now. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Lights him up! The, the crowd is stunned. <laughs> Forty-three seconds in, I like it. When you're in the low slot and a puck's on the backhand, you gotta react quickly. Boom! His positioning tells me he thought he had most of the net covered. The backhand is a tricky one to follow. <laughs> I'm happy. We knew the scoreless tie would be... All right, now I just got to hit Taylor Hall, and I held up my promise of taking him out and scoring goals. <laughs> Gets that pass after he himself had passed. Oh! Freezes play. What are you going to do about it, Hall? Huh? What are you going to do about it? Push you over, you big crybaby. <laughs> the Oilers are an average team, and their record shows that. They have average been team. They have to back to back games together to gain any momentum so far this year. Laid on to McCall. Mashed in. Rolling out of his crease, he's able to stop this one behind the net. On to Perron. Right up the middle to I need off. Shook right I don't need a minus. Oh, I thought they were going to score. The they still might. To Lupo. Slid to Kessel. Shot on goal. Oh, what a pad save. A cover and play is stopped. That would have been nice if Philly scored one too. Not, I'm not going to like to see him in a Pittsburgh Penguin uniform, but... What can you do? Ooh. They win the draw. There we go. When you're screen like that, you just have to hope it hits you. Chip to Nikita. Long lead pass to Puglia. Play to be made now by Larson. 
flipped to the opposite corner by Purcell. The Maple Leafs will start from their own end. Angled to Booth. He got in. Oh, Booth with the move. And then there's a pile up. <laughs> Oh, line change. Not a great line change. And drives on through center. Puck lofted in, shift change on. Keeps it going back behind the net. Oh, Taylor Hall has it. Ah, couldn't even hit him. Oh, huge save. Gaining space, maybe time. Laid on to Gardner. To Kessel. And played through center for Michelle. On to Kessel. Tip to the net. Oh! oh. Stop on the redirect. Rifle. Perfect. Gets in. Boom! Broke in by Mickle. Snapped up that right wing to Kessel. Oh, what a hit. That slowed things down. The physical play in this game is sticked away. And he'll cover. Where's all that? Oh, I didn't get time to hit him again. <laughs> Reimer's standing taller right now, which is good. That's what we need. The Leafs with a face-off win. Slid to Kadri. And he pushes it on through mid-ice. Nice job to get it from the wings to center ice. Oh. Chip to Ference. Propelled to Yoansu. He wheels behind. Laid on to Polak. To Lupul. Come on, Loops. Do some dangles. Put her in. Oh. <laughs> what? He made that save? Wow. That is unreal. Oh, it could be a fight. Ferrets and per Percy. Nothing. I don't know how we made that save though. Jeez. And look at Petrie going flying over Foss. <laughs> All right, JVR, win this draw for me. And it's going to Fanuff. Nope. Jeez. Period. Heads along the boards. Cut down, Gomez. Push you over. Oh. Oh, that could have been bad. And that's one. First period has been played. It's a one-nothing game. Now for a look at the shots on goal in the first period. Seven for Toronto, a minute three for Edmonton. The intermission has arrived, but our most vivid memory is the go-ahead goal. It was a long time ago. Yep. All right, Taylor Hall is back on the ice. Time to hit him again. Never mind, Fanuff's going to take care of that. Grab that. It's going to Hall again. Oh. Oh, good chance here. He's oh, what a save. And he holds on. Fight him, Dion. J 
just a remarkably desperate play by the goalkeeper keeps this one out. Foster's keeping a minute. A little under four minutes have passed. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. Oh, that was close. To Clarkson. And he Clark, you let Yakupov take you out? Jeez. Oh. To Lupo. Moves up along the board. Come on, Loops, do some more dangles. Never mind, get pushed over by Petrie. There it is. You want to score goals? You Put on the pressure. Oh, look at this. In the slot. Oh. He's got that pass at the point. Good pass stop. Oh, it's there. Oh, it almost squeaked through. Petrie's spoiling for a fight. Holy. He's been looking for somebody to dance with. Look at that pushing match. EA needs to fix that after the whistle scrums. Hopefully they did in 16. Hopefully they also fix the penalties. The Maple Leafs win it. Fires. Oh. To Fouillard. Chip to Gordon. Takes a perfect pass. Well, that's what your wins are for. They give it to Oh, good push. To Michael. Oh, he said my name right. It's dumped in. Out behind the net. It is halted right there. Propelled to Gordon. Cut in, Pugliot. Oh, fine. I'll just push you over. Knocked right off the stick. Takes it behind his own cage. To Mitchell. Now, I'm, now my name's Mitchell. You just said it right, but... What a pass. Get off you bum. Left wing pass to Van Riemsdyk. Good work through center eyes by Kessel. And he's hammered. I saw that play coming from him. Was he ever? He's in on goal. Oh. Parton got that in the trapper. Come on. Good block, Bozak. Here we go. Come on, Gardner, put that on net. Oh! Getting close. He looked like he was so far off to his 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 glove side there. It was just a little bit more to the blocker and up top would have been in. Clean went on the draw. Up the left side to Perron. Takes it on the wing. <sighs> Sit down. Superb defensive play by Michael. Uh-oh. Oh, what a wonderful block that was. What a boy, JVR. Right near the line. Can he keep it going? And that's an offside. And so we've been on the receiving end of more than a few of these things. This is why you retire from the game. What a gorgeous hit. <laughs> yeah. Neutralized face off. And hopefully, too, like, the away team will have more jerseys and stuff. And, 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 and the other team's buildings. Because especially like for when Toronto goes places and like the original six teams. I know when Toronto goes to Edmonton it's basically fifty fifty for the crowd, if not if not more for Toronto depending on who gets tickets. But I think last last time it was fifty fifty, but last year not last season where Oh, he scored! Komarov! Woo! But I guess it would be two seasons ago. There was probably 70% of the fans and Rex Overleaf fans. It was crazy. 
Komarov's decision was pretty easy. This low in a slot just snapped. A snipe. That's not thinking that's his best friend anymore. Off the post and in. Beauty, we needed that going into the third. Yeah. Now I just gotta worry about hitting Taylor Hall. Maybe Nuge or Everly if, if, if I get the chance, but for sure Hall. Toronto's prevailed again on the faceoff of the number 77. on a cross from the point. Got his glove on it! There is some room. Not enough. Great glove save. For over a century, hockey has been three periods, not two halves. We're two-thirds of the way through this one. On to the shots on goal at the end of two periods. 14 for the Maple Leafs and seven for Edmonton. Still dominating. It's good. <laughs> All right. Let's finish this game off, boys. Solid win at center ice. Good standing poke check by Nugent Hopkins. To Hall. Perfect. And this play is whistled down. It is awesome. Doesn't <laughs> matter how I pushed you over. That guy's drunk. Perfect. Hall's still out. Edmonton's got it off the draw at center. Played in the corner by Taylor Hall. Drives to the net. Jeez. Enough going for a skate. Through the neutral zone. Snatched up by Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Hall's hooked on this play. You bitch. The referee is high. He's into the slot. The Leafs guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick play to just a hook. trying to do is trying to get the puck but unfortunately for him he reached in and hooked around the player off to the penalty box he goes the Oilers power play has been clicking on all cylinders this season anytime they need a big power play goal they seem to be able to find it they have a big advantage over their opponent tonight who have really struggled on their power good solid defensive play there oh wow Reimer standing on his head Perfect. I'm out in 20 seconds. Woohoo! The Leafs are back even. Takes that cross ice pass. Oh, what a hit. I hope he's okay. That's a oh. hit. Well, they got nothing else to talk about. Here go the gloves. Get out of here, you peckerhead. I don't want to fight you. And with that takedown, it is over. What a hit, though. Wow. Maybe keep your head up there, Gomez. More times than not, you drop your gloves like that. <laughs> at least five minutes in the box. It's a good thing I was just in the box. It's still warm from when I was there. Oh, wow, what a hit that was. Can't believe I crunched Gomez like that. <laughs> that was probably one of my smoothest hits I've ever done. In a zoomed up camera angle too, that was sweet. Slid to Pouliot. Pass to the slot. Chip to Bozak. Nice job to get it from that winger to center ice. Defense to offense, begun by Larson. To Purcell, propelled to Gordon. Gathered in by Gardner. I hate sitting in the box. <laughs> he gains the zone, pointed to Booth. At the front of the net. Come on, you guys get another goal here. In the slot, he's got it. Kicked away, and there's another. I thought the second save was better. What? To Gordon. Through center to Pouli. 
All right, guys, get a whistle and I can come out and play. Just don't let Oilers score and get the whistle. Gets in. What do they do? Nice move. Got his. Oh. Lots of those chances. Unfortunately, he missed the net. Maybe I won't be playing. <laughs> Heads on to the corner. Good. Oh, tremendous save. Denied a terrific chance. Come on, Hall's out there and everything. Moves to the corner. He can start some danger here. Laid on to Kessel. It's okay, guys. I didn't want to play any more in this period, anyways. In this wonderful save, what a skill level there! Not often you're all alone in front of. The so I've been sitting in here for ten minutes. Oh, Morgan Riley with a huge hit. Oh, that's more than your normal rub out. Everyone heard that hit. Takes it up that side. I really don't think I'm going to be able to play any more this game. Approaching the final minute in this game. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> I only played like four minutes of this period. That could have been my whistle right there. Oh, here we go. Yeah! Woohoo! Hopefully I get to play. Lupel's got the goal and this game is over. Sayonara, that pretty well puts this one away. We go down. Word from the home team's locker room is they're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injury occurred a while ago. He will not return. Yeah, when I crunched him. Okay, screw it. I want to. On to Lander. Carries it up the side. Slid to Nikitin. Marvelous save. Another huge hit. He missed opportunity from this close in to Van Riemsdyk. Picked up in the attacking zone. Shoots. Terrific glove save. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Oilers saw the ice tilted every period against them. And they went hurtling back toward the boards. In a heavy collision. <laughs> My goodness, this was something. They were skating uphill all night long and had no response all night long. That's it for another great night at a hockey rink for Eddie and Ray. Doc saying good evening, everyone. All right, guys, there you have it. First star with that beautiful goal, like 45 seconds into the game. Huge hit on Gomez, hurt him. And I, then I won my scrap. So overall, it was a good game. We came with the win. Reimer got a shutout with 12 saves. Not really. He should be making at least 12 saves a game anyways, but if he doesn't get scored on, it's a bonus. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what position you guys want me to play next year for Be A Pro. Though I will be playing with the Oil Kings. I just want to know what position you guys will like, like me to play. So hit that subscribe button, pop those thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.